So they finally issued this kid a ticket. What am I talking about? Well, I gave you guys a video the other day where there was outrage about how officers handled this situation in involving a juvenile. Uh, the kid was uh, involved in stealing a bag of chips from a local store. Police officers showed up, and the guy that's filming it just goes off and goes on his rant about why, you know, these officers were handling it bad, how they were treating these kids like they were murderers and all this other stuff. So I went out initially and I said, hey, the officers were completely right in how they handled it. It was actually community policing one on one. And if you haven't saw that video, make sure you guys check it out on my YouTube channel uh, and, and look it up because I, I, I give you all the facts centered around that investigation and why what those officers did was right. Now, the very next day. I see an article and people are hitting me up about it. And so I was, you know, I started to read the article and lo and behold, this kid is in trouble again. Let's take a look at it. Ron Tillman, real talk, it's the truth. So when I looked at this article, the title says, days after viral video with Syracuse police, eight year old accused in theft of a bike. So I read through the article and what I found was that same kid that was uh, alleged for stealing the chips or the bag of chips from the store, the very next day went out and pushed the kid off his bike and then stole his bike. The straight up Debo style from Friday, if you ain't never seen that movie. And so by the letter of the law, if you look up the elements of that crime, that's technically classified as a strong arm robbery. Now, it sounds like they end up uh, charging him initially as a robbery and then they uh, lessened it down to a some type of petty theft. But that's a strong arm robbery because what a robbery is, it's to commit a theft by force or fear and to permanently deprive another person of their property. So that's what you call a robbery. And per the elements of the crime, that kid committed a robbery. So they arrest him, they take him down, they give him a citation to appear in court for larceny. Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing it up because initially when this video went viral, everybody was up in arms. Everybody was like so upset. The officers shouldn't be handling it this way. They're treating them like murders. And I said it in the first video. I said, why are we not holding this kid accountable for his actions? I mean, it's crazy. I told you, if it was me in that situation, my dad would have been, I would have been more afraid of my dad than I was the officers, first and foremost. Second of all is, at what point do we start holding the people accountable? Now, the last thing I'm going to say is this. It's kind of more sad and frightening of this kid's behavior than anything. That's what's, what's, what's scary. I'm more, I feel bad for the kid because I don't know why he's like this in the first place. I don't know why he keeps going out there. So that tells me there's a systematic problem and it only proves the point I've said time and time again, which is society tries to make law enforcement the doormat to everybody else's problems. Law enforcement had a job to do that day, which was respond out to a kid that stole a bag of chips. They handled the situation. They took him back to his dad. They released him. They educated him. They counseled him. And the very next day, he did it again, which going back to the first video, I talk about the frustration that the officers had because they had been dealing with this kid over and over again. Well, this just proves the point. The officers are frustrated. That's why they were had a little bit of sarcasm in the first video because he keeps going out there and terrorizing the community. So what are we doing? How are we failing? as a system well this goes to what do we what do we need to do beyond law enforcement to keep these kids from doing the actions that they're doing um, do we need to pump more money into the school system do we need to pump more money into education programs or after school programs or whatever what do we need to do and I'm not saying money is the answer because we all know that money is not the answer to everybody's problems but it goes to show that we need to figure out other solutions to help these kids in the community from preventing the behaviors like they had as we witnessed in this video. It was not the officer's fault to how they responded to the initial call for service when that stole those chips from the store. That's not the officer's fault. And we shouldn't be putting that out there like it's the officer's fault. Those officers did their job. They did it courteously and appropriately. And I mean, like I said before, is there any little things that they could have did a little bit better? Maybe. I mean, we could always get better. But it wasn't the officer's fault when are we going to turn the eye to the family the parents the dad the mom the uncles the cousins whoever when are we going to point the accountability there and then when are we going to start pointing the accountability to our locally elected officials to say hey look we need more programs and assistance for the people in this community 
that's what we need to start doing as opposed to making law enforcement be the doormat to everybody's problems. So anyways, I figured I'd post that today. I was I was tripping when I saw this video. I mean, look, you guys can go read the video. I, I pulled it up at CNY Central. Uh, go up there and look up the story. But it literally it goes into about how this kid uh, pushed the kid off of his bike and then stole the bike. And so they finally, um, you know, cited that kid. I don't know if they're going to file charges or not, but. You know, and I'm not saying that's the answer. I mean, I, I, I hate to say we need to keep arresting ourselves out of problems because arrest is not always a problem. There is a place for making lawful arrests. There's a place for trying to curb somebody's uh, criminal behavior through arrest, but it's not the answer to everybody's problem. So anyways, hope you guys like this video. If you like it, do me a favor, like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share it with all your friends. Love you guys. See you guys on the next one. God bless. Ron Tillman, real talk. It's the truth.